Hello friends, today we are going to evaluate this integral right here. In the integral from 0 to 1, x to the 4, 1 minus x bracket 4 upon 1 plus x squared dx, okay? So, this is really, really amazing, okay, integral. This will prove something, okay? And this uh, equation or this integral is was first published on 1944 on the pages of Journal of the London Mathematical Society, okay? So today I'm going to uh, discuss about this integral. So let's get started, okay? So the integral from 0 to 1, x to the 4 bracket 1 minus x to the power 4 over 1 plus x squared dx. First of all, we are not going to integrate, okay, directly. So, uh, uh, what we are going to do is, we are going to expand this 1 minus x to the 4, okay, bracket 4. We are going to expand this, how? By using binomial theorem, okay? So, if I apply binomial theorem on this one, okay, 1 minus x to the 4. So, if I apply binomial theorem, you will get 1 minus 4 combination 1x plus 4 combination 2x square minus 4 combination 3x cube plus 4 combination 4x4. Four four. Okay, so this is the expansion of this one. Now, if I apply uh, combination formula, so for combination 1 we will get what 4 combination 1 will be 4 okay x 4 combination 2 is 6 right minus 4 combination 3 is what 4 again plus 4 combination 4 is just 1 okay we get this one <coughs> now I'm going to plug it here now let me call our integral to be i. Okay, this is our uh, equation only. Now, if I plug this one in, in place of 1 minus x bracket 4, if I plug here this one, I'm going to get x to the 4 1, mi 1 minus 4x plus 6x squared minus 4x cube plus x to the 4 upon 1 plus x square dx okay now what is what is the next okay so our Next will be by multiplying these two x to the 4 into uh, under this bracket. So what do we get? 0 to 1 x to the 4 minus 4 x to the 5 plus 6 x to the 6 minus 4 x to the 7 plus x to the 8 upon 1 plus x square dx. Okay. We just multiply the one. Now I'm going to use long division method. Okay, these two, the numerator and the denominator. I'm going to divide, and after that, we are going to simplify it. Okay, so let's use long long division method. X square plus one. X to the four. Okay, let me. Let me write first this one, okay? X to the 8. Uh, let's arrange this polynomial in uh, higher degree, okay? Highest degree. In, uh, in descending order, okay? 8 minus 4, X to the 7, plus 6, X to the 6, minus 4, X to the 5, plus X to the 4. Okay. Now we are going to divide this now. Now x squared times how much give x to the 8? 
So this will be x to the 6, right? x to the 6 times x to the square give 8. Okay, x to the 8. <coughs> Sorry. Now, 1 into x to the 6 is x to the 6, but I'm going to write in x, x to the 6 column, okay? x to the 6, but the sign is positive. This is uh, basic, okay? We know that after dividing, we are going to subtract it, okay? So after subtracting this to get cancer, this, and this one give 5x to the 6 minus 4x to the 5, okay? Now, since we have minus here, I'm going to plug here minus because both these two are positive, okay? In order to get negative, I, I'm going to multiply with negative. So, here the coefficient of x squared is just 1. In order to get 4, I'm, go I'm going to multiply by 4, right? So, x squared times how much give? x to the 7. So, this is x to the 5, right? x to the 5. So, we will get 4x to the 7 plus minus minus x to the 5 is here minus 4x to the 5 now if I subtract these two these two got cancelled out but they will left 5x to the 6 and this one will come down here plus x to the 4 ok now since here is the coefficient is 5 so I'm go in order to get 5 I'm going to Multiply by 5, right? 5. So the sign is positive. This is also positive. So positive. So x squared time how much give x to the 6? Then is x to the 4, right? x to the 4. So this is 5x to the 6 plus 5x to the 4. Now if you minus, this two will get cancelled out. And here, this will be negative, right? So this will be 5x to the 4. But 5 is greater, so negative. Why negative? Minus plus, minus. So this two, I'm going to subtract it. So 5 minus 1 is 4, x to the 4. But 5 is greater, so minus. This minus come from here, okay? And again. Here, we have x to the 4 left, okay? So in order to get this, since this is negative, here is positive, so I'm going to multiply by negative. I'm just continue here, okay? This continue. So 4 is 4 in order to get. In order to get x to the 4, I'm going to multiply by x squared, right? x squared times x squared give x to the 4. So this is minus 4x to the 4. Minus 1 times this is this, okay? So negative. This will be 4x squared, right? So, and this two will get cancelled out already. And x squared we have, so plus 4, right? 4x squared plus 4. Why? 1, 4 is 4, okay? So, we have remaining of negative 4, right? So, when we divide this two, Okay, this two, we we'll get this one. So I'm going to rearrange it now. So let me continue here in the next page. So our integral i is, I'm going to write it again, i is equal to, and now we have finished up to here and we divide already so i'm going to write this question only okay here so our question is what this one so this is our integral from 0 to 1 right and x to the 6 minus 4 x to the 5 plus 5 x to the 4 minus 4 x square plus 4 minus 4 over 1 plus x square or dx okay I'm going to explain how come this one here after dividing it 
okay this one up to plus 4 is here okay up to plus 4 here now this one come out because we have a remainder of negative 4 right negative 4 times this one okay so that's why we have this one now this is now we are going to start the integration part now okay so we are going to integrate now now let's start it now integration of x to the 6 is what x to the 7 upon 7 minus 4 times integration of x to the 5 is x to the 6 upon 6 plus integration of x to the 4 is x to the 5 upon 5 minus 4 integration of x square is what x cube upon 3 plus integration of 4 is 4x minus 4 times now integration of 1 plus x square is inverse tangent of x okay so our limit is going to be from let me write here okay from 0 to 1 now if I plug 0 here in all these cases you will get 0 right so 0 will be cancelled now what do we left we are left with only 1 so I'm going to plug now 1 to the 7 is just 1 6 x to the 6 they mean 1 to the 6 is 6 plus 5 over 5 minus 4 over 3 plus 4 minus 4 then inverse of 1 okay okay now let's get cancer so if I get cancer this 2 over 3 okay or without doing this also you can just do it plus 1 minus 4 upon 3 plus 4 minus 4 then inverse of 1 okay okay right now if you simplify this part okay up to this one if you simplify this part you will get what suggests 22 by 7 okay you will get 22 by 7 oh wow this is somehow approximation of pi right so minus 4 times 1 is inverse tangent of 1 inverse tangent of 1 is we, we know that it is pi over 4 so 4 4 can get cancer you, you get 22 by 7 minus pi wow really amazing right so our integral is from 0 to 1 x to the 4 1 minus x bracket 4 upon 1 plus x squared dx is 22 by 7 minus pi wow we get this one so what the, our answer is this one right so our starting point is here now we just calculate like this okay and we get here so this this shows that our integral this one is 22 by 7 minus pi this this means that our integral i is greater than 0 it will actually it will be greater than 0 for okay, for this integral okay for this integral if you integrate it or integral this will be greater than 0 okay always so that keep in mind so now after we integrate it we evaluate already and we get 22 by 7 minus pi this shows that 22 by 7 is greater than pi right wow this is amazing right 22 by 7 is greater than pi okay always know that pi is irrational and transcendental but 22 by 7 we use approximation for pi right but actually 22 by 7 is a rational number 
But pi is irrational number. How come we use pi equal to 22 by 7? This is just approximate, okay? This is just approximation only. Actually, this is not equal, okay? <coughs> but uh, the first point, 3.14. This is somehow equal, okay? Pi and this one. This That's why we use pi in place of pi 22 by 7, the value, okay? This is just approximation. Okay, that, that is for today.